Hey everybody, how's it going? This video is gonna be a quick, I would say around about 10 minute makeup look. I was doing this look yesterday and that's what it amounted to. Sometimes it ends up a little differently when I'm trying to explain things and I'm not gonna put myself on an actual timer today because that honestly just kind of stresses me out. But just generally speaking, it's a quick makeup look and I kind of came to this through having some really weird nights lately with a teething baby where I've just been up so often and then in those early morning hours where I might seek to wake up at a five o'clock every Every day or you know my normal early wake up it's like I need that extra sleep but yet I still want to put makeup on so can I come up with a quick routine that lets me have both the sleep and the makeup. That's kind of what this is. I love watching videos like this. I love getting new ideas from people's quick makeup routines. I like sharing my own. I feel like everything in this video is an easy to apply product and it just comes together for a nice look. I showed the look on Instagram and you guys are like, yeah, tell us all about it. So I already have on my moisturizer and my sunscreen and we're gonna start off with my coverage product. We should use coverage loosely because this is Clinique Moisture Surge Sheer Tint Hydrator. It has the SPF 25 in it. I wear it in universal light. It's a very light coverage product, but it just makes the skin look really, really beautiful. I use that much. So we're just going to kind of streak this all over the skin. When I'm in a hurry, I feel like I don't want um, some kind of product that's going to be really, really touchy as far as blending it out. Uh, I just want ease in blending, and that's definitely what this gives me. This was one of my favorite products in the um, BB cream, CC cream video, and it's definitely one of the kinds that leaves your skin feeling and kind of looking extra glowy. Next up, concealer. I just grabbed a stick concealer. This is my Revlon Photo Ready that I picked up recently. The shade is light. You're going to just take that stick and draw it over any areas you want to brighten up. Um, I also, the other night, I used some of that um, Isle of Paradise self tanner on my face. I don't know if you can tell if my face looks just a bit more tan today, but this brightening in certain areas can also, like, I think it's very warranted now. I can take back those bright areas that may have gotten a decent amount of the tanner on them. Um, and this is just my little Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It's the mini size. Any kind of dense brush, just get in there. Next up, grab a little powder. This is kind of just what's gonna help us with the staying power all day. This is my Rimmel Stay Matte in Sandstorm. And I just like to very gently hit my under eye. This concealer is not like super goopy or anything like that. So you don't need a ton in that area but the powder is definitely gonna help me with this particular BB cream. It's gonna help the staying power if I just dab a little bit of this on my T-zone. Next, we're gonna use a little like gentle bronzer slash blush. This is my Becca Maui Nights here. This shade I always felt like looked a little blushy. You know, it's just got a little bit of a reddish thing going on. And I think it's so pretty, just kind of worn on the cheeks this way. So I'm gonna dab that on. And it also has like a little bit of a satin finish. So you get a hint of glow. And then if I wear it really sheer, so what I do at this point, you know, I've just applied it as blush, but I could pick a little up on the brush, dab it off on my hand to sheer out the application. And I could also just throw this on around the hairline area and be satisfied with this as bronzer, but it's kind of going on just a bit differently than it did on the cheeks. And then if you wish, you know, you can take a little down the neck as well. That's always just kind of an instinct for me with um, bronzer. This also is a really pretty eyeshadow if you wanted to take a little bit in there and kind of contour the eye area. But right now we're gonna move on to brows. I've been loving the Glossier Boy Brow quite a bit lately. I have it in the shade brown. And here's why I like it. I mean, I've got different products like this that I have enjoyed in the past, but this really, it does the job on its own so well. Um, the brush is a really nice size, but it kind of has just the right amount of product on it to really thicken up the brows in those places where I want to even out. And I just end up really satisfied with the look. Compared to my Alme, which has a very, very skinny brush, you know, that stuff has great hold, and I do like it as a finishing step if I'm using a a pencil or a pomade or something like that. That's still a great product, but this just carries a little more of the, you know, the goop, the fill-in stuff. And it's not too goopy, but it really, like, 
just on its own fills in my brows super fast until you get careless and start dabbing it in your unibrow zone. But see, I'm happy with that. This is gonna be an eyeshadowless look, but we are going to use my little pencil here. This is my ABH. This is the Matte Camille and the Sand Shimmer. So I take the matte side and I put that in my lower inner rim for brightness because you know we were tired. So that kind of takes away the redness there. The shimmery side can go right around your inner corner and it gives you just a little glow right in there. And while you've got that in your hand, if you want to sort of brighten up and accent your brow just a bit, I mean, it's just very easy. You just take it, draw it up in that area. Um, you could also draw a little bit of this just right on the center of the lid. Like once you've got this thing in your hand and you've just simply taken the cap off, you can do all kinds of things with it. You can also highlight your cupid's bow really nicely. You could also probably get some off on your fingers and dab it in as highlight. Hey, let's try that today. Super multi-purpose little stick. Next up, all we have is the mascara and the lips left. Like I told you, this was gonna be a quick look. It's probably coming in under 10 minutes, if the truth is known. One thing about the mascara, sometimes if I've really gone so efficiently throughout the rest of the face, I will take a lash primer and go under everything. Because I feel like doing so can really make my eyes pop even more, you know, if I just make that little extra effort to make the lashes stand out. So what I've done is just curled the lashes and I'm going to apply a quick coat. This happens to be the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. Okay, I'm gonna pop that on. You don't want to apply a lot of lash primer is what I've learned. If you apply too much, it just, it's, it doesn't end up being the effect you want. And then on top of that, whatever mascara you like, I've cracked open the Lash Princess False Lash Effect. And I like the brush shape and size. And I was just kind of reminded of this in a recent video. And I'm going to toss this on over my primer and check out sort of this big pretty lash look we're gonna get here. And then I'm not going to use mascara on the lower lashes just because I don't wanna have any kind of, you know, look of a smudge. And if I'm honest with myself, like one way I got lucky, you know, I might not love my lashes so much, but my lashes are dark. And so my lower lashes, even if I put nothing on them, there's still like something there. So I'm not mad about that. But in case you were wondering, yes, this primer and this mascara, they make a really good combo. Finally for lips, it's whatever you wanna do. Um, the other day I was wearing my Fresh Sugar Bloom lip balm here. I really like this one, so pretty. Gives this really pretty pinky like life to the lips. Um, has just a little bit of sheen. Not a ton of shine, but makes your lips feel super duper moisturized. And this, my friends, is the look. It's just really quick. Uh, to me, it feels a lot more finished than where I started. I like having that little bit of coverage and glow all over the skin. Actually will get pretty good staying power out of it considering I did set my problem areas, like my T-zone, just a little bit. Um, the eye was like pretty much nothing. Um, it was really, really quick, but I don't usually tend to consider eyeshadow a real big priority in these times when I'm doing this kind of a look. Um, I really just want to add some color to the skin, get the brows and lashes done, get a lip on there. Um, I think this is a really interesting product with this Becca Maui Nights because the shade can kind of be what you want it to be. I think when you apply it in a little more concentrated way, I love this BK Beauty 107, but I just dab into it and I might go over that a little bit more but it looks almost just a little bit rosy and I like that. But if I'm just hustling, I can also wear it all over the skin and when it comes off even lighter, it looks more traditional bronzy. Kind of hard to explain, but it does work that way. So thank you guys so much for your time. I hope this was helpful and I'd love to hear some of your ideas or go-to products when you're trying to get through your makeup really quickly. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.